1 Corinthians chapter 5 A case of incest It is widely reported that There is immorality among you An immorality of a kind Not found even among pagans A man living with his father's wife And you are inflated with pride Should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus, when you have gathered together and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan, for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate. Do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough. Inasmuch as you are unleavened, for our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote you in my letter, not to associate with immoral people not at all referring to the immoral of this world, or the greedy and robbers or idolaters. For you would then have to leave the world. But I now write to you, not to associate with anyone named a brother, if he is immoral, greedy, an idolater, a slanderer, a drunkard, or a robber, not even to eat with such a person. For why should I be judging outsiders? Is it not your business to judge those within? God will judge those outside. Purge the evil person from your midst.